On July 14, 1914, Dr. Kenneth Bancroft Clark was born in the Panama Canal Zone. In 1919, Kenneth's family made a move to Harlem, New York. Kenneth will reside in New York up until the time of his death. He attended Howard University and Columbia University, where he studied psychology. Clark was one of the very first members of the black community to graduate with a Ph.D. from Columbia University. In his lifetime, he received a surplus of rewards and achievements, one of those being the Spingarn Medal. During his time in college, he met his wife, Mamie Clark. The pair began to make a name for themselves with their 1939 doll test. The test was first established by Mamie Clark and called the Development of Consciousness of Self in Negro Children. This experiment became well known and the two created their own agency because of it. The experiment went as far as assisting the case of Brown versus the Board of Education. This case began in December of 1952 and ended May 17, 1954. The case fought to put an end to segregated schools. Mamie and Kenneth Clark were requested to do their experiment on a few school children in Clarendon County, South Carolina. The test was made to prove the negative impact segregation has on the minds of black children. Each test started off by placing four identical dolls in front of each other and placing them in front of the children as they were asked a series of questions, like which doll is mean or which doll is ugly. The children's responses were far from surprising when they closed the black doll. It proved to them in their minds, whiteness equates to beauty and kindness and blackness was ugly. From what I know, many black children today still have this self-hatred or some would say internalized racism. Kenneth and Mamie Clark's test aided the case against the Supreme Court, and in the end, it was unanimously decided that segregation in schools was unconstitutional. The Clarks carried on opening up their own establishments and institutions. The Clarks were well-established and very prominent black figures during their time. Like the Clarks, I plan to graduate with a PhD in psychology and open up my own establishments as well as nonprofit organizations to aid the black community. Through his activism and research, Kenneth Clark became a voice for the African American people during the Civil Rights Movement. Not only that, Clark was made the very first African American New York State Board Regent in the late 1960s. As we see, a similar form of civil rights in the Black Lives Matter movement and so forth, there's also a psychological standpoint to it as well. The oppression of black people has gone on for centuries and us as people of color should be extending the works of our forefathers. The Clarks have been and will always be encouragement for me to achieve my goals. Although Kenneth Clark has lost his life to cancer in May of 2005, his legacy lives on through many. In conclusion, I believe with hard work and research, I will be the next Kenneth and Mamie Clark of my time. Thank you. Bye.